Hey guys, it's Amanda from Main Loves Animals, and today I'm with my friend here, Riptide. This is my male Caribbean slash purple pincher hermit crab. This is my largest hermit crab. So I have a few questions here that I got from a hermit crab Q&A that I've been trying to put together. Basically, I've been asking you guys to give me some questions you have about hermit crabs, and I would answer them. Um, because I do get a lot of questions about hermit crabs, and I just wanted to answer them all because some people might have the same questions that you do. So the first question is, how long does it take for a hermit crab to molt? That really depends on the size of the hermit crab and just from hermit crab to hermit crab. But generally speaking, smaller crabs take less amount of time and bigger crabs take more, more time. So I've had crabs that molt in two weeks and I've had some that molt in six months. What is my favorite kind of hermit crab? Well, I'm really fascinated with strawberry hermit crabs, but I've never owned them. I would probably say Ecuadorians are my favorite because I've owned them and experienced them and I really like them. Can you use beach sand? You cannot use beach sand for two reasons. One, you don't know what's in it. There could be cigarettes, food, whatever, all that kind of stuff. But another is when you get it wet, it does not dry. Play sand, children's sand, when it gets wet, it will dry. Um, like when you mist and stuff. When you get regular beach sand, it just gets soggy and gross. Can you keep multiple hermit crab species together? You can and you can't. I've kept, um, Ecuadorian and Caribbean hermit crabs together for quite some time because they live in the same type of environment. You should have more than one of each kind of hermit crab species and I did but now I'm left with one Ecuadorian unfortunately because my other two died and the place that I got them from no longer sells Ecuadorian hermit crabs. Like strawberries and indigos and stuff, they require different types of care because they're from different places in the world. So some require more heat, some require more humidity, all that kind of stuff. So you'd really have to research the breeds and see if they could be able to live together with the same requirements um, I don't know a ton about the other breeds I do know like the things that they require but I don't know the compatibility you'd have to look at the breeds and compare the two or three that you have together but I really wouldn't suggest putting a bunch of breeds just together in a tank how many hermit crabs do you have I have seven little friends also isn't the shell so beautiful it was from the hermit crab shell haul that I did he changed into it the night that I got it what to do if your hermit crab won't change shells? The only real method that I found that worked is to boil all my shells again in salt water. Um, I have a video on how to clean your shells and you should be doing that because that basically gives it a whole new scent for them to check out and think of it as a new shell. The last question is what is my biggest pet peeve of seeing animals in pet stores treated wrongly? Um, my biggest pet peeve would probably be painted shells because it's such a simple thing that if we just gave them natural shells, they would be fine. But you want to paint something and do something so unnatural, you know, like there's no other animal that we do that to. We don't paint dogs when we sell them, you know what I mean? Like we don't do things to animals to make them more appealing to be sold besides hermit crabs. And it's like, you're going to mess up the, you know, you're going to give them pebbles. You're going to tell them that they should be on you know, this pellet food and the sponges and everything, and that's the care that you're gonna give them, but like, they already have shells, like, they're coming in with shells from the wild, or you can just get shells easily, but you're taking the extra time to make a painted shell for the sole purpose of the pet trade and getting kids to buy the pets instead of people who would be more responsible with the animals. So painted shells are what bothers me the most, because it's like, they already have shells, like, like, it's not like you're losing money by not getting people to buy shells, you know what I mean? Like, they try to sell you stuff, but, like, you're gonna sell them shells anyway. It's like, why did you have to go and paint them and make them toxic just for the appeal of children? Anyways, guys, that is the end of my Hermit Crab Care Q&A. If you have any other questions, leave them down below, and I gotta put this guy back in because you shouldn't have your Hermit Crabs out for an extended period of time because they need humidity and heat. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!